My favorite Song of Ice and Fire fan theory is that Aegon the Conqueror, founder of the Targaryen dynasty, had no biological children. Supporting evidence for this theory is in Fire and Blood, which has an unreliable narrator, but that's what we have to work with. The narrator of Fire and Blood tells us that Aegon had two wives, his sisters Visenya and Rhaenys. Rhaenys is purportedly his favorite. Aegon was married to them both for quite a few years before either of them reported a pregnancy. Rhaenys announced her pregnancy first, and it was a boy, Aenys. Rhaenys was killed a few years later in Dorne. The next year after that, Visenya announces that she's pregnant and she knows it's a boy. She gives birth, sure enough, to a son, Megor. So where did the kids come from if they weren't Aegon's? Fire and Blood tells us that Rhaenys was something of a patron of the arts. She kept a court of poets, musicians, septons, who then spread songs and poems and sermons that were pro-Targaryen. Think of like a really well-dressed propaganda team. It is not much of a stretch to think that Rhaenys could have used one of her favorites as a donor. It might be speculation, but if it is true and Visenya had known about it, it would explain a lot of Visenya's later behavior. Why didn't Visenya just tell Aegon? Maybe she did. But Fire and Blood tells us repeatedly that Rhaenys was the favorite, so Aegon just may not have believed Visenya or not wanted to believe her. Because if he was the problem, he probably felt super guilty about that. Visenya allegedly dabbled in black magic, which honestly I think would have been on brand for her. Magic in the Song of Ice and Fire universe is very unpredictable. It takes as much as it gives. If Visenya's son Megor was conceived through black magic, it would also explain a lot. Aenys, the son of Rhaenys, ascends to the throne after Aegon's death. He does not last very long. Proves to be rather incompetent as a ruler. Some people suspect that his end came because Visenya poisoned him. And you know, maybe she did. She definitely never showed the kind of loyalty to Aenys that she did to her brother husband Aegon. Megor became king and became known as Megor the Cruel, which is almost a euphemistic way of describing him. Horrible person. Megor suffers a head injury at one point and some people think that's why he was messed up. But that does not explain everything about him that was messed up. Megor was never able to produce a living offspring. He married six different women at one point, all women who had children from previous relationships. There were pregnancies, but they all ended in either miscarriage or stillbirth. And the stillborn offspring that make it to term are described in the same way as Daenerys' stillborn son in the main series, basically with partially formed draconic features. At one point, one of Megor's wives says she poisoned the other women and that's why it happened. That wife meets a horrible end, but this trend continues after she's taken out of the picture. So like really weird things around his offspring. Nobody is sure how Megor died either. His remains were found bled out on the Iron Throne, and nobody's really sure how he actually met his end. The narrator of Fire and Blood offers several possible culprits and explanations, but we don't really know. So based on Fire and Blood, it seems reasonable to believe that Megor was a black magic baby that Visenya conceived in order to prevent her sister Rhaenys bastard from getting the throne. To sum up, at least according to this interpretation, Aegon had no kids. The reason I love this theory so much is that A, it would be hilarious. You have all of these blonde psychos who base their entire personality on being descended of Aegon the Conqueror, then like none of them are. B, it would spite the people in the fandom who talk about Targaryen blood purity. Even in like discussion of a fictional world, there is no way to argue for blood purity without sounding like the evil mustache man. Just gratifying to me to believe this story out of spite and amusement.